sprinkler off of it. I put it back on and it was a pain to get back on. <laughs> I should have just left it should off. should have left it off. <laughs> All right. Put that there. I'm sure we'll need it again, but... Okay. Can we put a half in? Don't bother putting the sprinkler back on. And that's one-ish. All right. Okay. Next is three-fourths teaspoon of the cinnamon. Excellent. Which Excellent. I don't have that exact stuff, but do you have one fourth? I do. Wow. So three of the one fourths. Awesome. And this is so small that I thought it really was just one teaspoon, one tablespoon. Like I didn't think I had the proper equipment for this one. It's one of the downsides of doing things. You never have the right tools. That's what Papa always says. That's what Papa always says. <laughs> Wise man. <laughs> Wise, yes. <laughs> All right, three of those. Um, and then a the mace. What does that say? One fourth. Yes, it does say that. This smells so good. Mmm, that does smell good. When we read Mace, um, immediately we were like, is that pepper what they... Pepper spray? Yeah, exactly. The pepper spray. <laughs> I was like, with this other stuff that's in here? We're going to put pepper spray in this? This is going to suck. It is not the same stuff, apparently. 
Or maybe it is, but this particular derivative is apparently sweet, with a bit of a kick to it, is what I was told. This does not smell good. <laughs> this smells terrible. The clothes. I'm going to smell it. It's very clovey. <laughs> this is very clovey. <laughs> official turp. Yep. Official turp. So we're doing another one-fourth of a teaspoon of the ground cloves. The lady was okay. the lady was like, "You really want cloves? We don't sell these a lot." <laughs> Here, this is why. And she made and she stuck it in my face. I got a big old whiff, <laughs> and it wasn't the little baggie; it was the full <laughs> container. And I was like choking on it. <laughs> grains of paradise. One eighth teaspoon of grains of paradise. Oh my gosh! That so half of the one fourth. Which is this? Why are we? Why even put this in here? Just take a pinch. Don't bother measuring yeah, it. Yeah, you're right. But this is that's stupid. I mean, we're gonna do a pinch because that is like a pain. Yeah, there you go. That's that looks good. good. That looks there. good. There's now, what it looks like all in there. Literally, the directions is you just mix it up. Yep. So we have our spices, which is one part of this recipe. Yes. So we're going to, as they say on, you know, cooking shows, and I know this because we're professionals, we're going to set that aside, and now we're going to move on to the next one. Yep. We prefer to catch. Butter! Butter! One! Two! How many are we doing? I don't know, I didn't read it. Three! Four! You started throwing before it. Eight tablespoons, so one stick, so... Not, not this wow, many. Not way too. Let's double the recipe! But we have to make more of that then. Let's not double the recipe! <laughs> All of that's for one stick? Yeah. It's gonna be a lot of spice on the I butter. mean, wait. No. It's a little bit. It's a fourth of a teaspoon of that. Okay. Per stick. So no, we could double the recipe. Yeah, let's double the recipe. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we should but probably read the recipe, but... We did read the recipe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you true. You remember the recipe. <laughs> That's true. Uh, While she works on this, I'm going to go ahead and read from the book. Ordinary butter is readily available across Tamriel and can be purchased from innkeepers, vendors, and merchants for use in many recipes. However, some special occasions or unusual dishes Benefit from something a little extra. This richly flavored butter melds beautifully with roasted vegetables, but is also a wonderful way to start off breakfast. Apparently, this is from the Braidwood Inn. Oh. Molasses smells really strong. How much molasses? Uh, one fourth teaspoon. There. I'm really into that one fourth teaspoon. That's a little tiny teaspoon. That is not. So basically, this is butter. It's so, butter and more butter and then <laughs> maybe stuff. A little bit of spice to spice up the butter. I just want to point out that Grandma Galvinus here. Yeah, who provides a lot of our provisional items. A lot our, of people, actually. I yeah, see here. Yeah, through Daily Mail. I know. But, great service. But the thing is. <laughs> They wouldn't give us just, we asked specifically for molasses, and we couldn't find any, like, little tiny containers. So we have this gigantic, giant. giant jar of molasses for a fourth of a teaspoon. For we're this, doubling it, for, so, so ooh. Two fourths of teaspoons, leaving us with, like, all of, the molasses. all of the molasses in the world and no idea what to use it on. <laughs> but don't worry, because it's good, best buy. 0213 of 2023. It's so probably gonna need to be refrigerated. Some molasses, so it's not gonna. It's slow, like a slot, or like that final stage in Candyland. So now that we have the ingredients mixed together here, all we do is we just mix this up. I will film here directly into the bowl as you mix this together. You're doing this wrong. Why? Oh, you're right. Yeah. <clears throat> there you go. <laughs>
That's how you do it. That's how we mix things. I, so I've been told. That's how you mix everything. From mead to roasted carrots <laughs> to long, stew. Long thin pasty with melon sauce. Which, it's all in a bowl that you mix up and then you try it. And it's always good. Well, that's because you're the one making it. That's right. And as a professional provisioner, <laughs> it all turns certified? out... Certified? I am certified. Yeah, I know. It could be a something to... Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> that actually is looking pretty good. It has a nice color to it. Yeah, a little bit a little bit browner than a normal butter. Yeah. Does it look like it is? That lives in the book. It's not fully mixed yet. That's what it looks like in the book. Here's what it looks like for us. Mix it up some more here. Yeah. I feel like we might need to brown it a bit more. <laughs> Let's put some food coloring in it. <laughs> I'm putting it just on normal little French bread here. Uh, uh, whatever the Elder Scrolls equivalent is. Somewhere in High Rock, probably. What's a stuck up town there for French people? Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> it's probably in the way rest area. <laughs> Probably. Maybe Camborn. Camborn kind of feels like it. Like <laughs> yeah. Werewolves? Kind of a French thing. It's an undead werewolf for Camborn? An undead John, werewolf? Not. Yeah, not a horse dog. <laughs> Took care of that mm. problem. Oh. That didn't have any butter on it. It's just in the way. more of the spices. Yeah. I think they didn't put enough in. Put another tablespoon in. Because I can taste the molasses. It gives it a nice mm -hmm. edge, but I'm not tasting anything to do with this. That's better. That's better. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my recommendation is to double the amount of seasonings they're telling you to put in there. The molasses is perfect. Mm -hmm. It gives it a nice little edge when you, like, after bite. Makes it a little bit sweeter. I think if you want it really sweet, you could probably put more molasses in it. Yeah, if you wanted to make a sweet butter, I think that would be good. This, right now, at this level of consistency, they're right. It would be really good on vegetables. Mm -hmm. That meltingness over, like, a bowl of, like, green beans sounds amazing. That would be good. Or a sweeter bread would be good too because it would be sweet butter with the sweet bread. But I think for like a breakfast if you're going to do it, you want something a bit sweeter maybe. Do a little bit more molasses in there. But regardless, what you want to do is double the amount of spices. Yeah, it's not enough, I don't think, to really add the kick to it. Especially since you're making so many as per the recipe. And I know we're going to use it in other recipes, but, but we're not exactly sure when we're going to get to those recipes either. So it's pretty yeah. much just going to be for the butter for right now. But this is really good. It's very tasty. I recommend it. Easy recipe to make. Yeah. Didn't take a lot of time. I say this is worth six grains of paradise out of six. It's oh, very great. delicious. It's very good. And I think it has very versatile. You can use it on a lot of things. Yeah. So. It's, it's not in here as a solid recipe. It's in here as an ingredient for other recipes, too. So. And a lot of the recipes do use it, but I think if you're looking for something to impress somebody that you made or, you know, add a little something extra, this is a good option. Yeah. It's good. They, say, they specifically say here ash yams are good. Mmm. I bet that would be good. Well, excellent. We recommend this. Mm -hmm. And be sure to join us on the next episode of Oblivion's Kitchen. Until it's fully blended. No, I don't know what happened. It just turned itself off. Huh. We are professionals and we are dealing with... Even our camera works professionals. Yeah. If we had a camera guy, I would yell at them. But we don't because it's us. <laughs> so, hey, what the heck, invisible, non-existent camera person? How dare you?